Yo, what's up guys, that's the Storms HD, and before I get into this video, make sure to check in the description down below the gameplay videos that I got to record some footage of not just Shibuya and Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, tons of videos from Ultimate Jutsu's movesets and awakening scenes, and all the new stuff that you guys probably have not seen, because some of them were new to me. I didn't get some of the stuff, but don't worry, most of the stuff I missed will be gotten, or I will be able to get tomorrow, but if you guys want to check out the videos, go straight to the description right now but if you want to hear how my day was my awesome day at namco bandai um the place where i was able to test out the game for the first time then stick around because there's some interesting stories you guys who are following me on twitter will know about the savagery that headed my way but at the same time how great of a day and how great of an opportunity i was able to get so let's start off with what happened i arrived there and i was able to meet up with loads of other people who loved naruto and other youtubers from different fields from digimon to um the pokemon sonic is crazy stuff so i was able to talk to different people and play the final build of naruto shippuden ultimate ninja storm 4 crazy stuff they had the story modes um and i really didn't test out the story mode i was watching other screens and it looked great it looked amazing um versus mode i got to test that out for the first time with the team switching the pacing they went in with this game um I will get into details about how I feel about every specific aspect obviously as you guys know in my discussion videos but I think it's the time and the era for me to put out some footage you guys don't want to hear me ramble you guys want to see new stuff but what else happened on the day I got an interview by game UK and that's so freaking awesome because that's my game spot to you Americans I go to game and I get my games there and the community team were able to interview me on what I thought about the gameplay and you know you guys will see that video of me looking darker than life because you know I blame the lighting I was looking hella dark in the video but I don't really care because I enjoyed myself it was freaking awesome and it was on the spot I did not know I was gonna get an interview and you know they were really nice the namco team were nice game uk were nice and i'm just so grateful for the opportunity because a lot of people do not get random opportunities like that um and i'm just so happy about that recording the whole day was just great um i missed a lot of things because my gato wasn't working so i had to use like a different way of recording that was kind of allowing me to miss out so much footage that i wanted to put in um i was like I said, I wanted to participate in the tournament and win some prizes to go away with. But, you know, I was able to get a rapport with Namco Bandai and the game team. And I think that's so badass. Like, you guys will be able to see the interview soon. And obviously, it's an unintentional face reveal. Will I be showing my face anytime soon? Hell nah. I ain't gonna do that. After the roast and the savagery that headed my way on Twitter with the mentions, like, but... In all seriousness, I really enjoyed my time. It was awesome, all the people were great. I was able to meet all the game team that interviewed me individually, we were able to talk. And I think it's just badass. And I'm really grateful for these opportunities because really I just do YouTube for fun. And look where it's taking me, you know? These little 15 minutes of fame will, you know, be things that I can actually look back on. But basically, that's how my experience was. The Namco Bandai office is pretty awesome. Um, you guys would have seen my pictures if you followed me on Twitter. Got posters everywhere, figurines, stuff like that. And JC, the person who invited me to the event, is just an awesome person for allow giving me the opportunity. You know, there was no real obligation to put me there. But, you know, it just made everything really interesting for my youtube and everything i do naruto related so it was pretty dope but guys if you want to follow me and see all the new stuff that i might be getting up to i don't normally have very much of an interesting life but if i get more of these things you know you might want to find out you know what i'm saying so i'm going to be getting new footage um soon of stuff that i miss make sure you tweet me please tweet me what you want me to get um, I got things in mind that I know I obviously missed and didn't get, but if you guys want specific things, let me know. Do keep in mind that story mode does have an embargo until the game releases, so I can't get you early story mode footage. You're going to have to just wait for the game to release. Um, but versus this mode, I can get you anything from what you've seen. There is no Hokage Naruto and the Akatsuki Ultimate Jutsu was not something I could do. Um, and JC, I am so sorry if I stressed you out with my questions trying to find out information 
that would leak out of you, but you were pretty pretty tight with that. So good job. Good job. I'm keeping quiet on that. But um, I'm sorry for like chastising you, but pretty much, you know, I had to, I had to try. But guys, thank you for watching this. This is how my day went. You guys wanted to know. It was an awesome day and I just think I was just blessed. And yeah. But guys, like I said, check in the description down below for the new footage of Naruto. She put an Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. More is to come on the channel and speculation discussions as I do. This has been Esther Storms HD. And remember, if you're going to do it, do it like a boss. Peace.